oh, this is it. This is the episode that is in the theme song. I love that. Don't you love that? Don't you love you're watching a show and you're like, wait, I've seen that episode. I've seen that episode. I love it. I don't know. It makes me feel accomplished or like I really know the show well. So yeah, this is the bowl from the theme song. Uh, this bowl has... Um, this bowl will end up with some leaves and a lizard on it. This bowl... I'm saying this bowl a lot. Anyway, it took a long time because... Oh, there were so many mistakes made along the way.
Like I was saying, a lot of mistakes were made on this pot, but not in the actual shaping and sculpting. No, the mistakes happened here in the glazing. So I really like how the leaves and the lizard and all the little bugs turned out, but it took a long time to get the bowl part to come out right, and that's because of a big mistake that I made. I painted all the leaves and everything and then I waxed them and I was going to dip the bowl but the wax wasn't working right so if I dipped the bowl then the glaze would be on top of the leaves as well as on the bowl and I wanted the colors to be different. So I high fired the bowl with just the leaves, the lizard, the decoration, the decorative part glazed and it was gorgeous and then I was like okay what color do I want the bowl to be and I dipped it in glaze color that I wanted but the problem is after you high fire pottery the like all the pores everything that would absorb the moisture out of the glaze they're gone it's high fired, it's, it's stone, it doesn't absorb water anymore. So the water has to evaporate off the surface, meaning that it can take 24 hours for the stupid glaze to dry. Oh, and it doesn't adhere well. I mean, it's stuck, but it was like the thinnest coat of glaze that I ever put on anything. Ugh. A week or so later, one of my friends, he was doing this very detailed design that he's painting in glaze. And I was like, how are you going to keep the glaze from running? He goes, I'm going to put it in the bisque again. And I was like, what, what, what? So when you have a high fire glaze and you paint it on and you want it to stay and not be able to be disturbed, you can bisque it. And then the glaze will be stuck, but it won't be completely fired, and your pottery will still be bisque. So, if I had known that, this would have been so much easier. Isn't it funny? Isn't it funny how you learn things after you've already made the big mistakes? Like... There was no way he could have known that I needed to know that. And no way I would have known that there was a way to get around this whole high fire, bisque fire thing. And you can't see me but my hands. I'm talking with them. Oh, because I'm so... This is so frustrating. So, first time the bowl comes out of the kiln, I'm like, oh, this looks awful. This glaze is way too thin. You can see, like, where I touched it because the glaze didn't stick and so it stuck to my fingers when I was trying to just put it on the shelf so that it could be high fired again. So I dipped it again and again. I, I know I fire, high fired it at least three times which technically is against the rules. You're only supposed to do it twice but I was desperate to make this bowl work because I spent so much time on it and thank you people for not getting on to me for that. Thank you. Um, yeah, so the final product came out well. I am happy with the lizard and the leaves. There are a lot of mistakes that in the future I would not make again. I learned my lesson. And now I know a cool trick. Not because I figured it out. But because after I made the mistake, somebody happened to tell me. So this was a frustrating bowl. But I learned something, and I will always remember it because I made the mistake. Okay. Well, I'm going to go now. Talk to you next time.